John, I want to draw here with Forest Green Rovers today. Yeah. Your thoughts on the game, firstly? Tough game, knew it was going to be a very tough game. They're a good side, another top six side, I think it is. Um, no, it, it panned out how we wanted. You could see a few of us was dead on our feet. Um, but no, I was well, you've got to be pleased with a, a, a draw. Could we have nicked it? Should we have nicked it? It's debatable, but no, listen, we've had, like I say, we, we've been in a job now a month, I think, me and Lee, and uh, it's progress, it's coming on, and you just got to keep going. You were forced into that one change today, Panuche Kamara coming in for, for Joe Mack, but it didn't really seem to, to disrupt the boys that are out there and, as you say, put in a really good shift that first half. Yeah, well, we was, it was two really because of the back four. It's the first time we played a back four without Lewis and without Joe. We went five last week and uh, I think they cope well. Unlucky Jordan with a goal. Um, but as I say, keep on. I know it might sound boring, but I keep saying there's no easy games in, the, in, this, in this division. Um, we've got the squad that we've got with. They need resting up. Um, and I'm not crying, treating them like babies, but they've put a shift in. If they wasn't trying and weren't putting shifts in, then we've got problems. But I think, you know, if we keep going what we're doing, who knows where it could take us. We've spoken a lot the last few games about that the hectic schedule over Christmas. So for you, it must be pleasing to have no midweek game and almost back to the Saturday, Saturday and the opportunity to have a full week on the training ground. Uh, well, we won't have a full week on the training ground because the, the lads are, like I say, they're dying. You're just, my opinion, and we've just discussed it and you're going to get no more out of them on the training ground so you're better off you know we go to a match we go to I say we've got Bradford next week then we've got a game after so the, the good week will be the following week after the Bradford game A word for the fans they were in great voice today Yeah I think you could sense it here because obviously being here before the first 10-20 minutes I think the whole place was nervous waiting for us to get turned over um, me included you keep thinking well can we keep and the boys they just keep pulling things out of the bag you know, it ain't going to be pretty all the time because we're not a pretty side. Um, uh, but I think we're resilient. Um, all the horrible things that we're doing, and on the back of that, we had chances again. Um, so yeah, it's, it's just the way it's going to be until either we change personnel or, or we change what we're doing shape-wise or whatever. But it won't be through lack of endeavour from me and Lee. I tell you that much. And just finally from us, I suppose, from yours and Lee's perspective, it's just looking for more of the same next week against Bradford. No, we've got to be better next week against Bradford because we drew today. We want to beat Bradford. We want to beat every side. You're always looking to improve. As soon as you start to think that you're there, you know, it's all about hard work. It's all about endeavour. It's all about, you know, credit to Forest Green. They've come here and they give us a good game. They give us a very good game and that's what you expect. You know, you always know when Mark sends a side out that it ain't going to be easy and he knows that about me. So that's, that's what, you know, that's football.